show. We have lots of things to show you tonight. You on tonight's show. We have films, live shows, breaking news, as well as lots of other exciting items. We don't have an also queue, but we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, Madame Amy Stewart, and welcome. Here is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the Inca Fashion Show. <coughs> An exclusive premiere showing off the latest Inca fashions by outstanding designers. If you want to be seen in clothes that make a statement on each Inca referral, the ones you're about to see will do just that. Each designer is a remake, and you can be sure to see them everywhere you go. And what are we most interested in? Who is wearing what at this season's hottest event? The Inca referral. <laughs> any of these outfits can be yours, from any referral made to our fabulous East Kent Inca service. we're going to explain to you what types of people may refer to the Inca service and why. <laughs> As you can see here she is sporting an outfit pieced together by the NHS's newest designers. <laughs> <laughs> when asked about her involvement in tonight's show, she responded, I've made a referral because otherwise I'll get told off by the nurses. <laughs> Here is Angelina, our resident editor. Please show your appreciation. Inca's are trained advocates that act as an independent voice when a client is deemed not to have the capacity to make certain decisions in their lives. Inca collects information from everybody involved in that client's life and ensure that their thoughts and wishes are listened to. Angelina is giving us a visual delight of her new jumper embellished with this year's most popular acronym, BI. Forget YOLO, forget FML, forget ROLF, ROFL, <laughs> or Ruffle, yes. BI is where it's at. For those that don't know what this stands for, it means best interests. Although there is a classic amongst the advocacy fashion circles and designers, the Incas are wearing this with pride and spreading the word throughout the East Kent area. Soon to take the rest of the country by storm. Thank you, Angelina. <laughs> So there you have it folks, that's the latest look for the East Kent Inca Fashion Trail. We hope you have enjoyed watching and that if ever your capacity is questioned, you can look as good as these guys. <laughs> Hello, I am Sunny. I'm a member of Vexy Speaking Up Group. Tonight I am the one of advocacy show weatherman. Let's look at let's look at what the weather is like at advocacy for. The overall, overall forecast looks like, looks sunny. That's my real name. <laughs> we started in Sutton Professional Advocacy Service in April 2013. The ferns are really hotting up over there, almost a heat wave. <laughs> Maybe the next time they could put a little pictures of me instead on Saturday. Back in the studio. Hi, my name's Sarah and I'm 21, like probably most of you have been. <laughs> now, I have a disability, but there are lots of things that I want to do with my life, like moving out and living by myself. Running my own business. Not easy, right? Yeah. I don't want to be a burden on my parents. I just want to have a life that's full of adventures, <coughs> love and laughter. Like loads of other people. But I'm going to need some help. So that's why I'm here. Hi. Hi, Sarah. How's it going for you? Uh, well, there's lots. I, well, I'm going to need to use your <laughs> services a lot. A what? I don't even know what one of those is. <laughs> anyway, so there's this problem where I'm going to need some help with things. Problem! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> please help me. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I can't. Are you for real? What's 
Doesn't everybody get that at some point? Are you serious? to go to a local hospital, the Kilmore Royal Infirmary. <laughs> she had the most appalling time there with the staff who weren't communicating properly with her. And then, even worse, once she had her surgery, the hospital made a terrible mistake and cut the wrong leg, leg off. That poor, poor lady. Anyway, I know that when people need to complain about their hospital or any other NHS service, there's a free advocacy service in their area that can help them. Luckily for Holly, in her area of Bexley, that service is run by a wonderful organisation called Advocacy for All. <laughs> so I put Holly in touch with them. Anyway, I've now got another letter from Holly telling me how she got on. She told me that a lovely, lovely man called Russell helped her write a letter. And then he went along with her to a meeting at the hospital where they said how sorry they were with what had gone wrong and they showed her a new system they'd put in place. Holly says that because she had such a bad time in hospital, she would never have had the confidence to make a complaint if it hadn't been for the lovely Russell by her side. In fact, she hadn't got a bad word to say about Russell, apart from apparently he's a West Ham supporter. So, there you have it. A vegetable curry with brown rice. What to you from the makers of the Russell I have volunteered for advocacy for quite a while. I have settled 
filled in very quickly. The star were very pleased with the video of Nacor. Do you like the work? I have really enjoyed my experience. I like talking to the clients over the phone or face to face at the Rose Pub. I like getting to know the older adults and making them feel happier. And what kinds of things are you doing? I have gone out of office to visit some of the clients we work with to see how the company works, how we can help them, and how we can work around being able to help them in any possible way to make their lives easier. We put this together for the um, Disability Hate Crime Conference last year. Oh, no. <laughs> it's called Stand Up Strong. Good night from me.